Hello mga ka-AK, it's Sing Letter of Picks and welcome back to my channel. In my channel, we do unboxing videos, sneaker review, and sneaker outlet pickup. So for today's episode, we're going to unbox another light po side sneakers. Kaya kung bago po kayo sa channel ko, click the subscribe button and the notification button para ma-update po kayo sa mga bagong videos ko pang ilalabas. So without being said, let's go! Mga ka-EK, itong stickers na to, or itong flight faucet sticker na to, is dead stock na siya. So, this sneakers was released 2013. Dead stock na siya sa market, pero gusto ko siya, kaya binili natin siya sa private seller. So, buksan na natin. Kunin na natin itong susi para sirain yung tape. Tandaan, baka masira. Yun. May plastic bubble pa siya sa loob para safe. Tapon natin yung plastic bubble. Labas natin yung box. Ayun lang, mga kaigay. Mukhang minalas na naman tayo. Sira na naman yung box sa ilalim. Anyway, ganyan talaga ang life ng sneakerhead. Minsan swerte, minsan malas. But, binili natin to to be part of our collection. Kaya okay lang yung box sa atin. So, umpisa na natin ng review, mga kaigay. The box came with um, typical Nike box with red and white logo on top as usual then label kung makikita nyo mga ka -EK, it's US8 or UK7 and this is the Nike Air Flight Posit or Flight Posit Exposed it depends mga ka -EK, kung paano yung pagkakabasa merong nagbabasa Flight Posit merong Flight Posit but I prepare to read it Flight Posit so buksan natin siya. Ito siya mga ka -EK. Yan. Kaya gustong gusto kong um, bilhin tong shoes na to eh, because of its colorway. Labas natin yung isa. Ito siya mga ka -EK. Let's go into details ng mga ka -EK. So gawa lang natin siya ng maikling review para may share ko sa inyo kung bakit nagustuhan ko tong shoes na to. Colorway of these shoes, mga ka -EK, are metallic silver, black, and university red. So basically, they call it um, Flight Posit Exposed because this is the revised version or updated version of the Flight Posit 1. So the Flight Posit 1, one of the famous basketball shoes during late 90s. So, yung Flight Posit 1, mga ka -EK, is sarado siya. Then, may zipper siya sa gitna. So, they call this one as exposed kasi tinanggal nila yung zipper. And, they replace it with typical lacing system na wala yung zip or yung shroud niya sa gitna. So, mga ka -EK, yung inspiration ng colorway nito ay kinuha sa zebra. So, they call it zebra colorway as well. So, Yun, yung materials are made with light posite or pomposite. So they call it light posite because this is the mix of um, light technology and the pomposite. So that's why they call it light posite. This one is more lighter than the original pomposite na pinasikat ni Penny Hardaway. <clears throat> then, makikita nyo rito, meron siyang maliit na check. Tapos, it comes with circular laces. Black plastic tip sa lace niya. Then, sa tip ng tang niya, may pull tab siya na makikita niyong 
naka-printed na flight o side. Then, full tab niya sa likod, merong 3 dot or 5 dot, sorry. So, yung 5 dot na yan is symbolize ng um, flight project ng Nike way back late 1990s. So, makikita nyo rin yung University Red Squish sa likod. Tapos, mga ka-AK, meron siyang inner sock sa loob for support. So, it comes with mesh material. Makikita nyo mga ka-AK, comes with mesh material. So, tapos meron siyang University Red Lining sa loob. Then, mga ka-AK, yung inner insole niya is just typical insole it black and white color. So, it match up with the color of the outer side. Then, outsole are made with icing red rubber. So, may makikita kayong Nike swoosh dito sa bandang um, forefoot area niya. Tapos, meron siyang plastic shank, silver plastic shank sa gitna. So, this will serve as a support as well ng sapatos. But way back then, yung original na shank are made with carbon fiber. So, pinalta na nila ng plastic shank. Sa ilalim, may makikita rin kayong Nike Flight System and Pomposite Technology. So, as what I said earlier, guys, this is a mix of um, flight materials and the pump side. So, yun mga ka-EK. Uh, way back then, late 90s, very popular tong shoes na to. Kaya, nagustuhan natin tong shoes na to. Dahil dead stock na siya, kaya binili natin to. Isa rin pala sa mga trivia nito mga ka-EK. Um, sinuot siya ni Terence Ross ng Toronto Raptors. Way back nung naglalaro pa siya sa Toronto Raptors. And Terence Ross scored I think 51 points. Nag-career high siya nung gamit itong shoes na to. So, yun mga ka-EK. Um, ilalabas ko rin yung flight po site ko ngayon. Para makita natin yung comparison niya. Kahit pa paano, let's compare it with flight po site 2. Mga ka-EK, ito yung flight po site 2 or flight po site 2. Um, this is the first shoes that I review in YouTube. So, kung makikita nyo may shroud to, or zipper sa gitna. Kasi yung original flight po site 1, meron siyang zipper sa gitna. So, yung materials niya are same. Makikita niyo yung um, 5 dot niya, which symbolize the flight project of Nike way back then. Which is, makikita niyo naman dito, sa likod yung 5 dots, sa pull tab area niya. So, same with the flight po site 2, meron din siyang inner sock, Same with here, meron din siyang inner sock. Both are made with mesh materials. So, that's it mga ka-EK. Kung may mga um, additional formation kayo, as always, iwan nyo lang po sa comment box natin sa baba. And then, maraming salamat po sa panonood. And kung na-enjoy nyo po yung videos na to, please like these videos. And kung bago po kayo, please click the subscribe and the notification button. Thank you mga ka-EK and hope to see you again.